bringing the home and the school together here is really important, right? We want to make sure that as children are, are going online, that we're making sure they understand how to be safe, how to be ethical, how to uh, practice those same character skills that we expect in school, right? Those same things need to be expected in the seemingly anonymous online world that really isn't so anonymous. So uh, it's really a timely discussion, and we are looking forward to hearing from our panelists and um, bringing their expertise to us. Our kids are online. They're living this. They need to be online. They need to learn how to use the internet appropriately because by the time they graduate from high school, it's going to be expected that they know how to use computers safely and securely. They're going to go into a workforce where it's expected that they know how to use technology. So I think that um, most of the people here would agree that um, we're not here to scare you, but to empower you on how to talk to your kids about being safe online. I think one of our biggest, our biggest rules is that they don't use the internet in a secret place. So the laptops don't go into the bedrooms, the, the doors don't go closed, they do it in a public place. Um, if they want to search for something or do something kind of on the open internet, we have a discussion about it. So mommy, I need to Google something. And so we, we oftentimes will do it together. One of our early rules, very similar, was that the computers are in a public place, uh, never went in their bedrooms. We were fortunate to have a basement that doubled as a second den, so that was a perfect place to put the machines. But what we did was we got two of these, um, uh, they're like quarter circle uh, uh, desks, look like you put in a corner, it's designed for computer repair. But put them back to back so the girls couldn't see each other's screens. That way they could play games with each other without cheating. <laughs> but by having it up against the wall as you walk around on the outside of it, adults can see what's going on. So they had their own privacy from each other but they didn't have privacy from us. It just goes to show that there's still a lot to learn, you know, as parents and as we uh, evolve to the cyber world. As many of you know, because we're sitting in Silicon Valley and your kids are smarter than the last generation of adults, <coughs> myself included, um, it's all about the number of friends that you can have online. Um, in a gaming world, it's all about who you can beat online. It doesn't necessarily matter that you know the other person. And it's always about staying ahead and being able to, of course, um, brag to your friends that you know you've beat this many people in the game, or you've added this many people to uh, to your social networking um, group of friends. Dana Boyd is a researcher at Microsoft who does a lot of work with teenagers, um, and it's interesting because the sociology of Facebook is different for kids than it is for adults in the way people admire, uh, engage with it. So most kids actually view Facebook as public. They don't view it as private. They actually see it because it's actually considered conceited if you get an invitation from somebody to deny it. So when you get an invitation from anybody, you have to accept it or your friends will think you're not, you're being stuck up. So kids have this, especially young teenagers, so they accept everybody. And, and what's interesting is that in our, in our, in our experience as adults, uh, the way Dana phrases it, and I think it's very apt, is to say that everything in our world is you know, that we grew up with was private by default, public through effort. In order, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, if you wanted people to know something, you really had to work at it. Today, with social communities, it's public by default for kids, private by effort. Kids are growing up with information swirling around their heads. The expectations and, and the level of information they're expected to present at school in a very positive fashion has, has a level. But I think we just have to recognize as parents that the ethics are the same, but the environment has changed.